I'm Adam Mayer. This is a Teletype 15. It was made probably in the mid-1930s. Uh, if you were living then, this is how you got your news. It's a big contraption. It's got two electronic parts. The first component is uh, this motor here. It's a synchronous motor, which means it always is going to turn around at the same speed. The second is this solenoid here. It's just a little coil. It basically acts as a magnet. And so when I switch it on and off, you'll be able to see this little piece move back and forth. This little box is going to convert it from ASCII to Baldock code, to USTTY. And then it's also got some uh, software in here that's going to start sending the right impulses to this relay to send that 5-bit Baldock code to the solenoid, to switch the solenoid on and off at the right moments. It moves these little fingers up or down. Those fingers move these veins up and down. These veins here, uh, actually you can see they're attached to these bell cranks here. And they move these little uh, semicircular bars back and forth. See, each bar has a set of notches cut into it in slightly different positions. Um, basically, each of these notches indicates um, the encoding of the character set on the teletype. So, when these veins are in a certain position, the notches are going to line up for exactly one of these characters. So if I keep turning the wheel here, you'll see all these bars here, these type bars, are going to drop. And, see this one? Went lower than the others? That's because all those little notches lined up for that one. And now a little bail underneath is going to catch a little catch on it, and it's going to raise up that letter. So this is a mechanical representation of a binary encoding of a character. I'm going to turn it on, and it's loud. You'll notice we don't have a good ribbon right now, which is why you can hardly even see anything be printed out. Uh, it also needs a bit of adjustment. It's not always very reliable when it advances the paper. A lot of things are stiff. When we received this, it was basically a pile of twisted metal. Um, and uh, we spent a lot of time with JB Weld putting it back together and making it work and making it happy. And uh, now we, uh, we know what to do if, um, for some reason, microchips stop working. That's pretty much it.